As we come into this chapter, we should take moments to think about how it's going to connect backward to all the small level properties that we've learned about so far. Because remember, our key concept for this course is going to be the small properties of the system are going to give rise to all the larger scale properties. Now, in this chapter, we're going to be reading about light, the behavior of particles within the atom, but most importantly, we're going to be talking about the intersection of both of those things. How does light change the behavior of the particles of the atom? How do those particles change your behavior to give off light or absorb light? Those are going to be some of the key concepts we're going to talk about. And we're going to be able to start talking about what happens when the light is absorbed, why we can give light off from an atom. And that's going to let us explain what's going on with the sun. On top of that, we're going to think about the fact that we talk about these atoms as if they're fairly small balls. You know, the ball and stick model that you've probably seen before. This is going to start laying the framework for us to have atoms begin attaching to other atoms. We'll actually be doing that in later chapters, but this is going to be where we're setting that all up and setting up the stage so that we can start building things like molecules, polyatomic ions, big structures like that, and talking about how those structures can interact with each other. So that's the starting point for this chapter.